Carl, it's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. All right, well, this one sent in from uh, from Sam in New York, right? And it's about a fire that happened, right, in a really... Do you know, like, in New York, they have loads of big buildings, don't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, really, really tall ones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, there was a fire in one of them, right? So they did as expected. They called up, you know, fire brigade and that. They turned up, right? Uh, fire engine parked up. It's like, right, where's the fire? And they said, oh, it's on, like, uh, floor 100 or whatever. And they said, oh, no, we've brought the fire engine with the short ladders. <laughs> Stupid mistake, but go on. Right. So anyway, so they said, well, how are we going to get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can't. But they've only brought the short ladders. No, we can't. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. OK, Forget that was uh, monkey news. So, uh, the, so they said, well, there's a lot of, like, grippage. <laughs> Because they, they made up words, the uh, fireman, yeah, the NYPD fireman. <laughs> There's a lot of grippage! On the side of the building <laughs> and stuff. So anyway, they said, why don't we just go and get a monkey, right? So they oh. got, they got <laughs> a monkey. Whoa, yeah, that's a bit that, of a jump. Is they that just... policy now in, uh, in, in the New York Fire Department? Well, they, you know, you've got to think quick, haven't you, at the end of the day. If people are up there, you don't, yeah. you don't start querying if it works or not. You try everything that, that you can to, yeah. to help someone out, right? That's the first thing I thought of, was it, a monkey? So it was quicker for them to go and get a monkey than to go back and get the long ladders? Why don't they get Spider-Man? <laughs> <Okay>, fair <laughs> enough. Why don't they get Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, cool Spider-Man. Yeah, cool Spider-Man. So anyway, so they got they got a monkey down there, and they said, right, well, where they get it from? We don't know from the local zoo or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So they said, look, let's uh, you know we've got to remember there's there could be someone up there, um, right. and it'll shock them a bit if, <laughs> if, if, a monkey, looking at, if a monkey comes in, right? Yeah. So they said, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd care. Get it their, their building's on fire. They're not going to yeah. go. That's weird. There's a monkey in the window. <laughs> They'll be screaming. <laughs> Save me! Oh, there's a monkey. No, so away from them. So they said, right. We'll just get it a little small uniform and that. The smallest <laughs> you've got. <laughs> but whoa, well, hold on though. Actually, where are you going to get that? I'm going back to the um, going back to the uh, station. We'll get the long ladders way there. No time. No time. No. I, I no. bought the small uniform. I just didn't bring the long <laughs> yeah. ladders. <laughs> So anyway, it goes up there, it's got all the kit on and what, it's yeah. got its little ardet on and all that. It grabs, uh, there was there was like a little person up there, manages to grab that. No, a bit little... you, who was up there then? It was just someone just a... that was just the right size for a monkey to be able to rescue, which is handy. Because <laughs> if it had been anyone else, like a larger person or a family, we'd all be yeah. screwed. No, I don't know about the size of it, but it's just the story saying how like uh, it was quite a big, big monkey, and that it was good at breaking down doors. Oh yeah, uh, it was good at climbing into small spaces and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Anyway, but it managed it's big, to... so it's big enough to carry a, a fully grown man, but small enough to climb through a a, a cat flap. Yeah, sure. so uh, which is handy. So anyway, it managed to. You know, Did get it have the, the boots on as well? It got got the purse and everything, and uh, now it says it. You know, it's sort of uh, it's on call if if they ever need it again. <laughs> sure, and if they ever get anywhere again and they've forgotten the long ladders, but there's plenty of grippage, they just call for cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this week's monkey news. Bollocks! Ah, ah now this could be interesting. Uh, now that noise. Do you want to explain, Steve? I will. I've just sent a text to this number that some of you may have heard of, 63336. Now, apparently, this is a number you can uh, send a text to, and it will answer any question that you have for it. And in the past, for instance, I sent it um, quite some quite profound questions. I once asked it, um, should they have dropped the second bomb on Nagasaki, and it had a very thoughtful answer. So we've sent it a question, perhaps equally thoughtful. Carl Pilkington believes in ghosts. Is he an idiot? Now, we sent that because this is the Halloween special. These podcasts are, are three one-off free specials, and they're free because we want to thank people who uh, who paid um, for the for the audio books we did, the uh, the last two series, so thank you for that. I've just bought a, a flat in New York, and Steve's just bought a lovely BMW. Mercedes. Oh, is it a Mercedes? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Carl's having his kitchen done and his boiler replaced. He's still not happy. But, um, yes, thank you. Um, uh, the back catalogue is still available um, in audio books on iTunes but these are three free ones anyway the question we asked 6336 Carl Pilkington believes in ghosts is he an idiot and this is the response unusually producer Carl Pilkington is both an idiot and a comic genius his humour is not to everyone's taste however that's amazing <laughs> that's the response but it's curious because it doesn't really answer our question about ghosts Send them, do you believe in ghosts? Okay. This is the Halloween special, of course. That's why we're talking about ghosts. Carl, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't, 
I haven't seen like a proper a proper ghost. So why do you believe in something that uh, there's no evidence for? Yeah, you but know? what what why are we here then? If if it is just sort of you're born, right? And when I mean we are useless, at least other creatures when they're born. Well you speak for yourself. No, but they born other creatures are born to do a job, aren't they? When a bee's born, you know what that's going to be doing. It hasn't got any <laughs> options. That's got a job to do. And it does that job and it dies and the next one comes along. Oh. We asked it, do you believe in ghosts? The existence of ghosts is not proven. Many experiments have claimed to identify ghosts, but none have been scientifically sound. Excellent. See, yeah, that, that, that's that, just, that, that's but just... But that, that's a sensible, intelligent, logical, thoughtful answer. Weird things have happened to me when uh, mm. I was living at home. And... Uh, I was in bed one Where'd night. Where do you live now? No, but I was at my first home. Your mm. parents? Yeah, my mum and dad's. Mm. So I'm in bed, and uh, I'm lying there, and you know you get that sense of like, uh, oh, there's something going on. Right. And uh, I sort of look over my quilt, and there's nothing there, thinking it's weird, that. So uh, turn me back on it, I'm thinking I don't want to know. If there is something there, <laughs> I don't want to know. Right? <laughs> so I'm turning me back on it, but then there's like a really high-pitched noise, right, sort of the hairs on my back are, like, going up a bit, and I'm like, oh, I don't like this, and it's, the, the high-pitched noise Yeah, the hairy back, even as a kid? No, but, you know, Not everyone's got little hairs on them, aren't they? Everyone's got little tiny hairs on them and mm. stuff, and, uh, and I thought, oh, I can't stand this, and, and I turned around, put the light on, legged it downstairs, mm. right, and my mum's saying, what are you doing? I'm going, oh, I don't know, there's something up there, so she said, all right, then watch the telly. So I stayed up for a bit, mm. uh, watching the telly. Went back to bed, the high pitched noise had gone. Went to sleep. Get up the next day. Charlie from next door comes round. He goes, Hilda's dead. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, my dad said, Oh, when did that happen? He said, Last night at quarter to eleven. Right. That's, that's when I was in bed. So? What, what are you telling me for? Because it's weird, isn't it? It's that thing of. Uh, what, what, what do you think would be weirder that uh, no one ever died at quarter to eleven? When you were in bed. No, but that's when all the weirdness was going on. That's when the tone was happening, my back was getting itchy and stuff. And Coincidence. And I went down and watched telly, went back up, it's gone and that, but that's when her spirit had sort of... No, no. Ah, okay, right, interesting. No, this, this is where we get into the facts. So Hilda's spirit... Uh, that's was whizzing round, whizzing round my yeah. bedroom, because my bedroom was right next door to theirs. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I'm just saying, that's, that's one. Why, that's did they, why do they whiz round? When what? they when they die, why do spirits whiz round when they die? Because they're going, where am I going? Are they? And they're whizzing round, aren't they? Am I going down? Am I going up? No, no, it's Carl. Oh, no, no but I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, but it's n it's not going to be easy, is it? How do you think it works? It doesn't work. But once again, it's not proof of anything, Carl. Mm. Beyond the fact that you were a child in bed. Why did your dad ask what time she died? No, he it, it just sort of you know what do you say to someone when it's it's awkward, isn't it? When someone gives you bad news, so you just think, well, what can I ask? Oh, what time oh, did she when, die? When? What time, what time does that happen? Sorry? No, just, what, you just go, oh, Exactly what, what time did she die? Uh, my no, wife, my wife passed away. Yeah, what, what time is that? Exactly? <laughs> no, not exactly, he just said, oh, oh that's bad, when did that happen? Like, what mm. time? And he said, well, thanks for asking. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Well, Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven, I remember what did say? What did they say last night? Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Convenient, aren't they, all these it stories? Is, or is it? Or, yeah, I mean, it's either that's exactly what happened, Rick, or he's he's misremembering the, the yeah. actual I don't, I, don't, I don't know which one <laughs> to plump for. But, I'll tell you this, though. Go on. You know, if we're talking about ghosts and that. Yeah. Mm. Now, Ilda. Yeah. Uh, choose your bog standard old woman. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I think that's on the gravestone. Yeah, I know, yeah. No, did you, just, did you do the eulogy? No, you know. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> you, you what can we that? say about Ilda? <laughs> Bog standard old woman. Right, there's sandwiches at the bar. <laughs> That's the most insulting thing you could ever say. There's nothing. Let's no. <laughs> just think about Hilda that lived her life. <laughs> Thank you for coming to celebrate the life of Hilda. Who died at quarter to eleven specifically. And was a bog standard old woman. <laughs> Are we burning or burying? But anyway, but she lived to be quite old. Mm. Which annoyed you. And, but yeah, no, in a bog standard way. But this is what I was saying about us all living too long and stuff. Mm. It just, it just makes it worse when it does come to us being a ghost. I don't know what you're talking about again. That sentence made no sense. 
just, if you are going to be haunted, right, say, I know you're going to say, well, I don't believe in them, so I'm not worried, so don't be going on about it. Mm -hmm. But say, like, you know, your new place that you've bought, you move in, and you go to bed, and there's something moving about the room. Mm. You see it, mm. it's a ghost. Oh, no. Okay, no, let, let's, for the sake More of likely, a Siamese cat called Ollie. No, because that's probably got its own room, on it? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, would you prefer to have an old person moving about looking at you, or just a young person? I'd prefer a youngish person who looks normal, and he's sort of floating about, and you go, all right. That, that looks normal, floating about. No, but, but an old woman would really scare me. Some ghosts are always gonna have a bad reputation because they look scary because they're old. So that's... You talk absolute shit. That's all I'm saying, so... Can we're you now believe going... we ever charged for this? No, but look, <laughs> if, if we are going into another life, right, after this... Which we're not, We but, yeah. move on to another life. Yeah. We're not gonna move on. That land, say if it is like another world, where we go and we plough fields and we grow crop- it, crop. Croppage. We grow crop. Crops. Uh, crops, if you want. Yeah, um, well I would like to use the English language. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's too much fruit about, so just a crop. Just something we need too to get back. Too much fruit <laughs> He's got an answer for everything. That's so we grow some crop. Yeah. yeah. So you grow your crop, and uh, now if we're all going into that other land or world or universe, mm. old, who's gonna do the cropping? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, you! I, I've never had so much crop in my life. <laughs> it's a load of old crop. I, I had to go for a an ultrasound, right? Isn't that what you do if you're pregnant? Yeah, but the the do you know I've had kidney stones? Are you expecting? That we talked about <laughs> it in, yeah. the, in the other podcast and that that we've done, right? Uh, I've had a kidney stone. I don't want to go on about it. Uh, but it hurt, it was painful and that. Well, you are going on about it. Yeah, yeah and it was no, nothing. No, I'm just saying. It's routine, don't worry about it's it. It's not routine. Well, uh, well, why do they have to keep going back, then? Why do they have to keep going back? You're, you're yeah. questioning me. You're getting into a routine, yourself. keep going back. It's better than working in it, you don't have to you know, the sell the book. No, no, holiday or hospital, holiday or hospital, holiday or hospital, I don't know. I just say that we've got a book out, right, The World of Carl Pilkington. It's, it's, it's out now. When he goes on holiday the first week, right, uh, he, he's in and out of hospital, he's doing no good, he's got to go in again. He goes away with his family, like, twice a year, goes away with Suzanne's family twice a year. Yeah. He's now said he doesn't want to do any press for it because it's boring or he doesn't want why don't you why don't you plug in the book? I mean if you if you're an author, you've got to put I've, get behind I've it. bought books without hearing someone telling me to buy stuff. No, you're you're, la you're lazy. You're no, lazy. I'm, I'm not lazy. It's just that I'm sick and tired of putting telly on or the radio and having people telling me, Oh you've got to buy this, you've got to buy that. No I don't have to do anything. I'll have a look myself when I'm in a bookshop. Let them just find it. But there are hundreds and thousands of books, Carl. They may not find it. Well, just You're trying to look. direct them towards it. I'm, I don't want to direct them to it. I just, you know, if you come across it, but most why of have the you books... put all this work into this book? All these illustrations you've done in extra material. Because I enjoyed it for me. Right, but you don't want anyone to read it. Yeah, so why just put it, it in the drawer? Will, they will read it. They'll they'll find it. People will find it. It's in the shop, isn't it? I'm always finding little books on different things and what have you. Yeah, if you don't read them, you read the first couple of lines and you get it wrong. What, you know, it, it... I tell you, I tell you something. I do know. Go on. Right, but I, I can't really get a question out of it. Go on, just tell us. There's a shadow somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's already good, isn't it? I'm loving it no, already. No, no, right? There's a shadow. I think it was in America. Yeah. And uh, it's on a quiet road. I, I'm guessing somewhere like Boston. That's what I, I well, imagine. <laughs> okay. Right? No, 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 no. Somewhere yeah. like Boston, and people at night used to see this shadow moving about, and they'd go, "What's that?" Right? And, and it got known that the town, the little local town, got known for this shadow, but it didn't cause any problems. People what are you to... talking about? Well, like... Just you've lost me. What are you talking no, about? No, do you know like some places get famous, like uh, Scotland's got the Loch Ness Monster and that, but nah, it doesn't cause any. Yeah. But it doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't exist. Go on. Right. So there's this shadow walking about on the road. And, what? Uh... What do you mean? No. What's he again? <laughs> Rubbish. Right. So it's nonsense. Walking about... Where did you read this? Where did you it's see this? He's walking about. This was on the internet. And I'm oh, sure... sorry, <laughs> sorry. Right. I thought it was shite. <laughs> I didn't know it was on the internet. Right, so this shadow is moving about and God. uh... Independently of and, an object. Yeah, and the, and the local mayor and that is like, yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's not harming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor involved! <laughs> he was he elected to that post? Hey, hey, mayor, we got a problem down here, seems like a shadow. <laughs> uh, well, it's not causing any problems. No, it's, <laughs> it's just causing any problems. Yeah, go but on. That's, but that's the thing, it was left for years and then it did start causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> I see, that's it. If you leave these shadows to go unchecked, Rick, they go crazy. Yeah. You let them run amok in the yeah. city. Yeah. You've got to stand what around did it do? on, what did on it do? Roman what did, what did the shadow do? 
it was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? It was pushing people off the bikes. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll find out more for that next week. <laughs> Right, that'll tease them. Oh, on. you're a maniac! We'll do more on that. <laughs> we haven't had time for educating- Please never have children. Right, listen. <laughs> you are Just a promise maniac. me now you'll never have kids. No, no. We haven't got time Okay, now listen, alright, DJ so Shadow, have we got time for these- to give these tickets away? Yeah, if they just call up, we'll, No, um, I'll tell you what, I've got a question, right? Go on. Where do you th where does Carl think this may have taken place? If you've been listening to the show, where do you think this evil shadow has been running amok? Yeah. Let us know. The number, Carl? Uh, ooh, Good question. 08 700 800 1234. So, Excellent. uh, but that's it. We are that's actually it. out of time. We are indeed. Now. Have I got- have I got time for a song for the ladies? It's a bit tight. I was Why? told to finish it's now. Too. I know, but we've got to get finished early today, so. Why? Just because we have and we're wasting more time talking about why we have to. Oh, this is pathetic. So, <laughs> the call up. Uh, where did I see the ghost? Yeah. And you've got to pick the tickets up from reception. You can go tonight see DJ Shadow. Shoddy, That's it. this right? is shoddy. Right, see you then. <laughs> <laughs>
happened back in uh, You can't have a Siamese lad, can you? All right, yeah. This is Siamese twins. Uh, happened back in 1693. Oh, he's got a date, blindness, first time ever. Yeah. Um, and all it was, he was, he was doing all right for himself. He, he used to go on the, like, those circus things he used to do. There are two people you're talking about, Carl. Stop so going to him. All right, then. All right. They. They, they did this circus show, right? Yeah. And, uh, everything's going well. The, the, you know, they're the selling out the tents and stuff, people coming to see them. Yeah. Um, he was doing all right for himself. Yeah. Right? Did, um, sorry, before I said that, did you think a Siamese twin was a man with two heads? Well, it can be, can't it? It depends. There is, there's, there there's is two man. people, they're conjoined. No, 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 but it depends, doesn't it? The one that I showed you in that book that time was a fellow with two heads. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a, 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 was a, uh, a stupid picture in one of your stupid books that he had a growth that looked a little bit like it had a face on it. It wasn't a man with two heads. You're the same sort of people who send potato chips to Esther Ranson and say, doesn't it look like Norman Cook? Yeah. It's not two heads. <sighs> We'll bend this feature. No! No, it's, it's just- They're uh, two people. They're two people. Conjoined twins. Yeah. Right, so these- it's just off, They just happen to have a similar taste in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so there's- yeah, they were doing all right and it all went wrong when he crossed the road, got run over. The lad with two heads got run over. That's it. <laughs> what?! How is that- how is that Jiggy Freak of the Week? Just, beca just because it got my interest and I kind of thought, why didn't it just look both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued to know Why you... wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> I'm intrigued oh. to know how you, uh, how you get run over him. What was it, 1629? Yeah. Well, it's horses awesome, and that, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, why wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> Carl, Carl Pilkington, you are a genius. Play a record, you fool. Well done, Carl. More cheeky freak of the week next week. See so what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> talk then. Someone should talk. It's obviously already, already a shambles. Can you believe that? I, I, I'm amazed that we're back on the air and it's already a shambles. What are you doing? What? What are you talking about? I'm talking. The, no one was speaking. The record was ending. The, no one was speaking. It was just Kate. Well, I might shoot off. <laughs> already, I might shoot off. It's Bit like we've, nothing's changed. Boys are back in town. On XFM 104.9. We're back then, aren't we, Carl? Yeah. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I'm not coming back, I'm definitely not coming back. Oh, 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 care, care someone, care that I'm not coming back. Rick, I seem to remember the end of, yeah, the end of the last time we were on, what yeah. was that, three months ago? Yeah, three months Carl ago. Carl said he's never going to do the show again. There yeah. was nothing that was going to bring him back. Yeah. He didn't enjoy it, wasn't going to do it. All the rules, right? Really? Yes. Um, I've, I've known him been co coming back for so about two months, you know, because he's got our agent now representing him. Oh, I, I thought I he was a fool, really. Why? Well, what, what's yeah. he done for me? What's well, he done for us? No, I know, but I mean, he's, he's your agent, so, uh, and he's sort of calling Graham. And it was all a con, so Carl could get Mondays off. Poor Graham, the station's struggling enough as it is. Yeah. It's like running around like a headless chicken. Yeah. No one's listening. No one's listening. That's why I don't bother talking when a record then, because there's, no, there's no loss sure. to London. <laughs> sure. Right? It's, it's, it's pointless, this show. We don't do it for the money. We don't do it for the kudos. I don't know why we do it. No. Is there anything on telly at this time? I could have had a lie in. I know. But. Um, it's all a ruse to get Mondays off. He's got Mondays off now, because he has to do the show, two hours, two right, hours. and he's still getting paid. And it's all a con, because he knows that he's holding him over a barrel, and he's, uh, it's like, oh, we've got to keep Carl happy. Mm. Right? I, had, I had Mondays and Tuesdays off before Duncan got involved. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though? And it's like, poor Graham, who's the MD, the, uh, in charge of the thing, probably pulling his hair out, worrying about the station, right? You know, it's a sinking ship. And then Carl comes and well, I, I, you know, I'll do it, but I want Mondays off. And they, uh, he's probably sitting home now, his family, he's probably ridiculed by yeah. his well, wife. Well, his kids almost certainly would have lost all respect for him. He's, he's been fooled mates. by Carl Pilkington. He calls his mates and go, oh, I'm, I'm busy, Graham. I don't, yeah. you know, I just can't think. Uh, it's just... It's, it's embarrassing. Just, but it's, do you know what I mean? And you think it's funny and you think you've got one over him. He's going, oh, Mondays off for two enough. hours. Yeah, you do, yeah, you do. You think, oh, and now you're now embarrassed, we've said it on air. But uh -huh. you're, only, you're, only, you're only conning yourself in the long run because... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's I hate that sort of the world owes me a living. How much can I get? What can I get out of the world? What are you going to give back to the world, Carl? What are you doing now? Then are you going to prepare Monday? No, what you, have you prepared for this show now? You've had three months to prepare. Yeah. What have you? What have you got? What have you got for us? Okay, what's happened in the last three months? 
Uh, what? In this place or just my life? Well, what have you got for us? We three months, we're cloning about, you get Mondays off, you're getting paid for it, you've got a cushy deal, you're having a laugh, you're taking the piss out of the management, right? So, what have you got for us? Give it to us. We've, we, I've kind of, uh, updated Rockbusters a bit. <laughs> right? Brilliant. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, you said don't mess with it. If something's good, don't mess with it. What do you mean it wasn't good? <laughs> it was never good. It was never good. No, of course we had good. to fix it. It was fun to do. It was a laugh. I mean, much mo I imagine it was much more fun for me than the 450 <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I you know what I mean? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed squeezing your head and dressing you up. No, but that's just it. When I had a meeting with, with Graham, right, I said, look, I'm not being funny. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I've had enough of it. Yeah. And he was like, oh, what's up with you? You, you sounds like you have a right good laugh. I said, yeah, but that's, that's, you know, that's all good acting and stuff. I said, it's hell in there. <laughs> um, I said, like I, he's I, talking about Vietnam. Yeah. I it's said, like having, having my head squoze, right? <laughs> What? Squares! Squares squares. is still not a word. We've been away three months, it's still not a word. Right. Yeah. I said he's putting a dustbin lid on my head. Yeah. <laughs> you told this to the end. He's, he's hitting me with a tray. Yeah. Uh, he's chucking toilet paper at me. Yeah. And he said, yeah, but that's all over two years. I said, no, that was the same day. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So. Okay then. Wouldn't it? So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff that Ricky told me to find out about. Steve, are you aware of bonobos? We mentioned them earlier. I'm not particularly familiar with bonobos. Right. It yeah, sounds like a cream cake. No, they were they were um, a, a, a sort of a, a chimpanzee, but more advanced than the, the, the traditional chimpanzee. They, they live uh, uh, in one sort of particular area, and um, you know it's the sort of closest animal to the missing link. They're very intelligent. They take on a lot of social aspects of. Um, Human. They have sex for, um, pleasure mm -hmm. and no other. Steve's looking uh, annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> He's done ya. Um, so, uh, yeah, what did you find but out apparently about Apparently, I found out it's 98% not human, this kind of thing. It's nearly human, but it's not. We share 98% of DNA yeah, with it. Yeah, 98%. Yep. It's a higher percentage um, than you. <laughs> They have sex for pleasure. <laughs> they do look a bit like him, though. They've got a little round head, haven't they? But, and they um, sort of, they're much more upright than the, you know, they've got a more well, flexible. I, I sort of get bored with animals that are like classed as being intelligent, right? So when you tell them, <laughs> <laughs> I get bored with them because yeah. they're not doing enough. They're exactly. not playing no, no, Nintendo. Do you know? Do you know like that? People always rave on about dolphins, saying, yeah. "Oh, they're really bright and that." Yeah. You know, um, I was having an argument with Suzanne about it, and she goes, "Oh yeah, dolphins are really intelligent," and I said, "But what? What have they done?" So she said, <laughs> well, they, they use them in wars, they strap bombs to the back to go out to boats, yeah. so then blow up the boats. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. they're trained, yeah. Well, that isn't that bright. If it was really bright, it'd go, I'm not doing that. Well, no, they leave them. They don't blow themselves up. They, ang anyway, but- Right, well. So anyway, so bonobos, um, really bright and that. Mm. Now, I was looking at them, mm. and they are, you know, they, they're saying, the the. You know, they, they're just like humans, basically, right? Mm. Well, what I was thinking is, I didn't have a chance to ask you, um, if you got a mentalist... Right. ...and put the bonobo in what an do you exam... Mean, what, okay, right, okay. What do you mean a mentalist? What do you mean? Well, you know, someone who's, you know, a little bit, a, just a little bit slower than me, and put, an, put them in an exam, what would happen? Right, okay, you've got to be clearer here, Carl. What, what are you saying? Are you saying pit the wits of a bonobo against someone who's educationally subnormal? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, again, I <laughs> don't know where to start. I, no, but no. if they're that good, why aren't they being used in, uh, in labour and stuff? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> What, it, what, in the, in the late, what do you mean, in no, the government? like, you know, like, <laughs> some, some jobs that they could do. Why well, hasn't someone could, caught onto it and thought, well, hang on a minute. Sorry, right. I, I'm not familiar with the bonobo. Seriously, could it do a job of work? How, how advanced are these well, creatures? The, uh, lots of animals do job of work. I, I think Carl wants this bonobo to start going to work at, uh, with an umbrella and a bowler hat and, uh, have sort of like rudimentary language skills like, morning. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Right. So the bonobo, so I couldn't employ the bonobo to be my PA. It's um, not. I mean, how advanced are they? Could could I no. could I teach you to go in the shops and collect something? Well, and bring yeah, it but you can teach a dog to do that. 
Yeah. It depends what you mean by intelligence, social interaction, uh, also dexterity capability, you know. Could uh, it produce this show? <laughs> yes! I, I just thought it could, <laughs> randomly. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> just by pressing the buttons it could do a better job. It, it's, it depends what you're asking, Carl. You, it, what, I mean, what you mean is, it can a, could a chimp be a thick human at an intelligence test? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But it yeah. depends on what the problem with the with the human is, doesn't it? Right. Well, first of all, mental illness is nothing to do with intelligence. Let's get that straight. That's one thing. Mental people aren't necessarily less or uh, intelligent than people. Now, is that the clinical term? <laughs> well, exactly. A mentalist. <laughs> a mentalist. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start with wh where he's going wrong with the question <laughs> to answer it to find find out what he really means. Because it's just that if that did happen, right? So what if, did what could happen? You want the plant so, of the right, eggs, don't you? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> go on. Right? I go to school. I go to a new school. Yeah. I go in the class. There's three bonobos sat on the back <laughs> row. Yeah. Right. I think it would make They're everybody. Bad kids, are they? Everybody would work harder because you go. Well, I don't want a monkey beating me. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas when I was. So you think school, they'd be an incentive? Yeah. Well, I yeah. I, I think, okay, they go in and go. Oh, go on. What do you mean? No, I would. I, I would have loved it because I mean one of the reasons I didn't like school is it's like oh I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothering going in today. I'd love it if, if I went in and someone said, right, you're gonna start coming again. Why is that? You've got three bonobos in your class. What if they didn't hang out together, like the two little, um, kids with the webbed hands well, and the big heads? What, what if they want? started bullying you? <laughs> Stealing your pocket money? Well, maybe- I go in, I'd stop Maybe copying in. you. Make, maybe making you do their homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did find out you- To be honest, it'd <laughs> probably be the other way around. <laughs> and he'd score better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, have you been copying? <laughs> have you been copying the bonobos have again? Have you been copying Boo Boo again? <laughs> <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? it I, well, it'd be great. I love. I, I wish I could live in your mind for just a day. So it must be great when you walk around and see things. We were talking before, right, about um, actually, right. Go on. We're struggling. Go on. No, no. You can help me out here, Carl. You've got an idea. I can see it in your eyes. He's got a brilliant idea. Wait for it. Go on. No, no. It's something. When I was looking on the web, yeah. found something out. Go on. Um. It's a story about mm. a woman who had a baby. <laughs> who had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? A, a, a woman yeah. who had a baby who was having a baby. <laughs> it was no, it was no clearer when you repeated it. No, go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the common good. Right? Pursue this line of inquiry. Right? Because I don't know where it's going, or play a record. I I am actually torn. I don't know what to do. No, I remember seeing it and thinking I've got to tell Ricky about that. It's brilliant. What? Uh, should we, what should we do? Should we should we go with it? It's a, I mean, it's like it's entering into the abyss. It's opening Pandora's box. It's, <laughs> it's peaking. It's going down to the cellar. I've got a couple of questions though. Go on then. Well, come down there with me. Okay, <laughs> come down right, in the cellar with me. Okay, right, Carl. What, 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 first of all, it was on the way, what, what, what do you mean? The, the baby was what? Had another, but was it, she didn't give birth, they didn't, the doctor didn't, didn't find one of those set of Chinese dolls up her. It's Rus Russian's dolls, whatever that's, they're called. That's, that's what I pictured it like, those, those dolls where you take the head off and there's another one in there that all look the same, but no, the story was, <laughs> there's a woman who's- No, don't just say it again, that's a headline. That's not a story. There was a woman who had a baby, who had a baby. <laughs> yeah. That's not a story. That, um, imagine <laughs> handing that in as a, th as a thesis to loads of the BMA. Hey, are that? There you go, and uh, yeah. read that. That's a, said, that's a children's rhyme. Yeah. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. What do you mean? So the baby, she had a baby, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, that bit's fine. We're yeah, okay with that. That's normal. That's normal. A totally woman had a child. Yeah, totally normal. She gave birth. Fine. Yeah. Next. Well, I, I, I don't know that much more, apart of course you from don't. the fact that the baby's like roaming about, <laughs> and then uh, twelve, like twelve months later, she's like, oh. Interesting. So the gestation period of the that baby was actually three months more than an adult. Yeah. Excellent. It's weird though, isn't it? So was the headline "My baby's twelve months pregnant"? <laughs> what are you talking about? Twelve months later, it had a. What are you talking about? Forget it. it. No, you haven't, you haven't even finished the story. That what you said, and twelve months later, you didn't even finish the sentence. So what do you mean? No, I didn't. I didn't read any more into it because I just saw you that didn't and I thought, read it. What? That's, "That's weird." And then I just was thinking, "Oh, like imagine the kid at school at parents' evening." <laughs>
go on. And it's like, well, your <laughs> kid's pretty good. Now, now let's have a look at your work, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that'd be weird? <laughs> but what? Did the child have a baby? Yeah. Of course it didn't! Play record! We shouldn't have gone down in the cellar. <laughs> we should have I just can't. left the cellar door closed. I, I never learned. That's the zombies and a song called Time of the Season. I've enjoyed that. What do you think of zombies, Carl? It's alright, yeah. No, not the, not the group, but the, oh, the, the living dead. Don't worry about them. No? Why? Not about, are they? <laughs> Couldn't happen. You don't right, believe listen, in that? Listen, right? You don't believe in zombies? So, I was looking But you do believe online. a baby had a baby? Yeah. On you go, on you go. Are you still saying that didn't happen? Yes. Right, well, I'll find the thing again, I'll print it off and well, then you'll read it. Well, all I'm saying is there's more information that we need. Yeah. yeah, but- but it always annoys me that when I do get the information, you'll go, yeah, but it's name Sally, you didn't say that, and make out- No. Uh, as if- No, 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 no don't, do, ma don't do. make it look like w we're over inquisitive or over cynical. You come out with the- the most abominable things man has ever uttered, <laughs> and you expect <laughs> us to accept them. Usually headlines, usually uh, illogical, not just probably wrong. So, fleas are born pregnant. <laughs> Are they? Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. See? On we go. So See, that's true and you're not impressed. Cause it doesn't involve a little werewolf child. Or half man, half shark. So you're, you're just not- it's not good enough for you. No, but what I- I- if I read the first line of something and it's not- not that interesting to go next, right, and I move <laughs> on. Now when I saw a woman had a baby, and it had a baby, But I'd you go, still Ooh. didn't read on. No, but- I, all right, I didn't read on, but it got me thinking. Like I said, it's, you, you wonder about the parents' evening. I was thinking about, <laughs> you know, is it a good thing? <laughs> because you're gonna spend more time with the kid. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of mums who have to go out of work and that. She's gonna be a great mum. Grew up with her, literally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so She's I, gonna I'm be a great mum! I, I just wonder if, I know it sounds weird, but if was it's- it, Was it, was it the, 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 you know the baby that woman had? Was that a girl or a boy? No, it would have been a girl, wouldn't it? Of course it would. It'd be mental, wouldn't it, if it wasn't? Right. It'd have been a weird story, wouldn't it? So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff. Right. So we'll move on to this next one, right, which is brilliant. Go Dead on. short story, so, right, uh, old woman, about seventy years old. Yeah. Uh, she's normally fit and healthy and stuff, nothing wrong with her, she's having a good life. And, uh, one day she goes for a check to the doctors. Yeah. Just to check herself out, because she's yeah. getting on a bit. Yeah. Uh, it says take your clothes off and that. So she does, and uh, checks her out. Says, "Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good." Uh, turn round. Uh, he said, "Oh God." He says, "You got a, a tumour on your buttock, right?" So she goes, "Oh, what can you do? Anything to sort it out?" So they go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could book you in for an operation. It's best if we remove this." Books are in for an operation. Operation day comes. Strip her down and that. They're all stood round the doctors. Start to operate. It only turns out it's a pork chop that she sat on five years earlier and it had stuck to her buttock. Right, Carl. <laughs> I right, can fold I'm, I'm, you- I'm, I'm not- honest. Right, I'm- No, I'm listen, not, okay, no, let, let, serious. Right, okay, Carl, I'm telling you now, I'm leaving. I'm no. never- I'm never doing this show again. No, I'm serious. Honestly. You're talking- I, I, I've never had any such What do you mean? You couldn't believe it? No, when I read it, I said I've got to tell Ricky This that. woman had a pork chop stuck to her ass for five years, you mental case. <laughs> of course she didn't. When, when we, you know, I was growing up on this estate. This is gonna be good. Go on. No, no, it's not. It's just a, an example of how this doesn't work. Go so, on. So we don't need to worry, sort of thing. Sure. Right? Okay. So growing up on this estate, and there was a there was this woman about four houses down, right? It's a bit rough. <laughs> all right. Didn't fancy her. Oh God, no. Right, but she had a <laughs> Why? baby. Why? Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. So like a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. And I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What does she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. Tattoos. Look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right. But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? When they get it, a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> must have gone. Has he a horse in it? <laughs> no. What, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of leather? <laughs> right? Um, oh, that's great. I'd Did been Big out. Jake come <laughs> looking <laughs> for it? I, I, I'd been out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
thing, bro. So, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> Where's he get a horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin, Rustling. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? Until... Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> open the patio door as well. I'll be... Looks like we got us a runaway. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had to... a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's always so... to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room it's next not door. Buying it is keeping it as well. Oh, but, so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, okay. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper. Just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? Well, Wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record. Story. Let's play a record and come back to this. Because the story's going to just wait, unravel wait. and unravel. It's going to go for hours. Let's it play a track. Deeper and deeper. It's yeah, like an onion, onion isn't You've, it? We've <laughs> created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. I, mean, I, I just, come from the West Country. I've never just, heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and it's got a, a, a rediffusion telly and this horse going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is real. I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. See, uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pots. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. From that classic first album, Velvet Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Louis de Velvet Underground and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So. We were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and, uh, we got onto, uh, um, We got onto to genetically, genetically modified babies, but somehow- And then somehow Carl started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got onto, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was- Cause you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's so relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but you- But well, what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand- What, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be Pauline. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I've never got that close to her. Okay, alright. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from, I don't know where, there was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they didn't get have caught? it for long? No. So and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse. No, in what there. happened was I was um they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money and they came out with all these ideas and I thought, that's good. What was the charity? But forget well, I dunno, I thought forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making idea. over. Like. So <laughs> you're a charity. So um <laughs> So I asked me ma'am for some uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And, uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And, uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. But I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. So it's a bit rough. So as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so they've they, they been feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything, because I always say that about animals. That beauty like, was on. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay, or in like a house with a central you know, heating, three-piece suite, and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> <laughs> telly and that? Because, no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was walking through London. Coming on sixty-four, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And do you know, like homeless people, always have dogs. 
And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it. And I said, they've got- that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat, I mean? but other than that- <laughs> No, it does eat though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse- was- was doing alright for yeah. itself. Do you know? it. Well, not many horses have got their own house. Exactly. For a start, yeah. But anyway, that's- that's- what, That's what by the by. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, this family, who's a bit- what were we talking about? It was about cloning- Genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff, yeah. Right, now what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right Steve, you could have a baby, mm -hmm. right? And Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? It so, could happen, Rick. <laughs> So- Come on, work with him. So you take it to the doctors, and I don't know what they do, they, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah. And, uh, get a little baby, and there it is, it looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate, you both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right? Yeah. Now, you look at Steve, Stephen, this is, you look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well, you give it good food and I'm that. a good dad. All the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. And, Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right? So then it changes its looks, it goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? Right? This, this, um, this, this, this family who had a horse in the, in, you know, in, the, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my mum went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying, like, abusing it, but it used to run around, it used to play out till, like, ten at night. Yeah. Uh, it used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit- <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. No. <laughs> it used to chase cars! Right. What sort of kid chases cars? <laughs> oh, God! No. Was it called Rover? The weird Did it th catch sticks? It's Liam, it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that, like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. It's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and chasing cars on that, and it became an ugly kid. It's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can, uh, clone, you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. how you're brought up. Brilliant. Wow. Whoa. What a life. Wow. That was a hell of a point. Oh, God. God. But am I right? Oh, you're always right, Carl. Wait, what were you thinking during the quiz then, when the questions were coming out? What were you thinking of? Well, what it was, right, just before the quiz started, I had to go to the toilet, right, because the rule is, right, people who don't go to it, once it starts, phones off, oh, yeah, no more toilet. The room, they yeah. take it dead serious, don't yeah, they, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I went to the toilet. Now, I'm not being out of order here, it just got me thinking, right? I went to the toilet, the gay fella in there. Right? There was a gay fella in there. Gay fella in the toilet. Now, well, how, how could you, you tell? How did you know? Just typical, you know, everything about it, right? It! <laughs> everything about it, right, yeah. Oh. Well, large handlebar moustache, what, what, leather what, what, cap. But, butt plugs, ammo nitrate. Could I just say that these views do not reflect the views of the management of XFM or me and Steve? Go or on, most Carl. of the people in this country. Go, you on, go on, Carl, what's your problem? Yeah, but this is what I'm worried about, really. But this is why I only got Danny Minogue right. <laughs> right? Because this was floating around my mind. Went She's to the a toilet. Big guy, icon, now, go into the toilet. They have they have like men's cubicle and they have women's cubicle. Yeah. Now without sounding out of order, is it wrong for me to think <laughs> gay men should have their own little cubicle? Go in. <laughs> they should have their own well not cubicle, you mean an actual toilet, yeah. I suppose. When I was at the urinal, yeah. normally, you know, there's a fella there and then you go, alright. And there's no pressure. But I couldn't, I couldn't go. I was thinking, should I wait? If I go into the toilet, it'll look obvious. Yeah. I had loads of pressure and but this was going on. what were you worried about? I'm so sorry. What I'm were you so concerned sorry, about? Viewers. I'm so well, sorry. Well, it's like, right, listen, when I was a kid, right, <laughs> and it's alright for you to go into women's toilets when you're a kid, it's like, oh, it's a bit cute, yeah. right? As long as you're not, like, over 15 or something, right? Right. But when I was a kid, I went into a toilet and women, when they use their little cubicles, they don't shut the door. Some of them just sit down on the, on the toilet, yeah. right? And you see everything. And, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, that's probably one of the first times I saw like a woman. Yeah. That, right? I mean, Auntie Nora when she was staying over. <laughs> what happened with your Auntie Nora? She was. Um, she's into wearing caftans. 
Into wearing what? You know, caftans. Oh, oh yeah. What caftans? Big, bellowy sort of dresses. Right, right. And, uh yeah. I, I, I used to sit on the floor at home, in front of the telly. Sure. She was on the chair behind. Yeah. She did a bit of a, sort of a Sharon Stone scene. Oh, God. Yeah. Did you see it? Uh, there was no underwear? No. <laughs> what what was, age were you? What was it like? What age were you? It was like a ripped tennis ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> what?! <laughs> right, we're off air. We're off air. Either that'll put us in for the Sonys. <laughs> What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Yeah. Neil Young, Dynamite. after the Gold Rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry, go on, Carl. So just take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's what's the story? Right. So I did some research. Right. <laughs> Let, let's just recap again. The guy. There was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off. He was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, "I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off." To so show the brain that life can still, or the brain yeah. can continue to work out after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So y you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that Jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that we're, was terrible. we're yeah. gonna, uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta, you gotta show people that like, you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this, the 1970s? <laughs> I can't when you said a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of... Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So... <laughs> very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, yeah. when he was near school. Yeah, this was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, and even before that, which is yonks, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough, and he's, but no, he's resigned to it's, it. It's a day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. Hoover. So. The jailers? Whoever he was. The asking. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that, pants. So, so he said, no, look, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out, you know, okay. he said, do us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day, um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut me head off, let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, cos there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count That's that. not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who and said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You're guessing, <laughs> go on. So, uh... <laughs> they got Norris McWhirter, there. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then, yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. So see you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> Bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is in yeah. or when but it he was. He knows exactly what was said. said what, but he knows the interviews. <laughs> All right then. See you in the morning. Mm, bye. Little kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not like that. Oh, you joker! Oh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm all right. Go on. He gets up and mm. they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got got <laughs> used to the idea. So yeah. here's here's a white line for you. <laughs> got used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So uh, so they go, right, you ready then? And he said, I right, go on. And they cut his head off, and the body walked thirty two steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. Thirty two steps. Incredible. And that's 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 the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the it walked along the white line? Did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line. Did thirty two steps and then started to stumble a bit and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But it you know, it was a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When when you lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what what do you reckon you can do then without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would. Yeah. You could not. 
distinctly take thirty-two steps, mm -hmm. the body c well, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And uh, you know, you could have thirty-two steps. Right. So a you don't believe that? I'm doing a bit of line dancing. Right. You don't believe that? But something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head? It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to uh, human <laughs> is is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if, like, they're a totally different, like, Species. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am making that up. I mean, call Rick, me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is, yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the, the cockroach is, is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives, it lives by its head. Because a lot of it's on, uh, uh, uh that there's some of them are phototropic, chemotropic, some of them just literally have, uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's, it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to, a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that and the body's still going, now I remember, I think I remember what I was gonna do here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna carefully walk 32 steps along this white line. I'm basically just looking out going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left, <laughs> yeah. left, you <laughs> left, oh, he's now, ooh. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if 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 anyone listening has uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident, <laughs> but they got up, maybe they they went for a walk. Uh, they you know they 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 had a little chat. Before oh they dear, on. Carl, get in touch. You know, oh, you, Carl, you know you, you you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now, you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are why generally speaking. Why can cockroaches do that? Why are you ever made them when- Let's play a record with Do you know what, when I, when I told him this fact, I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live nine days without its head. Mm. He texted back, what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of They're that? They're not doing experiments, these cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, and I'm talking all that, you're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. Play record. Play a record card. Competition time next. Oh. oh. We need some corn. Look at his little face. Oh, Look at his little face. He's not very fast competition. <laughs> oh. oh. He could live without an head. Right, there was this, there was this, this is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Oh. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. My mate, Colin, right? He Colin Bacon? Uh, no, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? yeah. He had a, uh, little, uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Which was like the, the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw always go round to his house. The it's deal was not the one you had to play through the window because you weren't allowed. No, no, to that's play. another lad. Oh right? yeah, this is this is a different lad, and the deal was, he came to our house and my mum gave him a pie, <laughs> and then I'd go round to his and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> yeah. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year. Came round to Christmas Day. I thought I reckon uh, might have one. Turned out they bought me the wrong one. They bought me a ZX81 instead of a Spectrum, right? And Christmas Day, I'm there trying to load the games up. It's not working. I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? And the thing with me when I was a kid, I used to get quite sort of agitated. This quite is the, easy, this is the moment, right? I found out that it needed a RAM pack to make it work, right? Looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? I mean, I was going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit. That's, that's it. So, I was that wound up, I just was sick. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god. Went to the sink, just, just sick. Cause I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've got to get one. And my dad's like, tandy shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas day. That was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ramp pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents? He's scarred. <laughs> he just, just I'm gonna die. Honestly, I'm gonna die. The <laughs> only, he's just screaming sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. <laughs> <laughs> why wasn't the 
did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a round pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, my okay. cons. What do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> oh, no. So, um, there wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? Well, listen, still to come, right? We've got, um, the, the monkey's thing. Oh, chimpanzee that! And when I was out last Sunday, right, at Johnny's birthday party, yeah. Steve was there. Yeah. Got talking about stuff. Um, and a debate that we didn't really finish cropped up. It blew your mind, didn't it? Amazing. Oh, I, I know about this. Steve told me. This is the, uh, infinite amount of monkeys. Um, or a monkey with a typewriter and an infinite amount of time would eventually come up with the works of Shakespeare. Yeah. There was no debate. It's a philosophical, mathematical problem. There's no debate. It's true. It won't happen. No, listen, Carl, listen. Infinity sorts it all out for you, right? An infinite amount of monkeys at a typewriter, right? They would do, they do everything. They type everything. Infinity just sorts it all out for you. There's no getting to it and they're going, oh well, uh, let's have a look what they've done. <gasps> this one's come close. Did Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> it would do it all. It would type everything ever possible, conceivable. Yeah, but. but it's, a, it's, a, it's a mathematical thing. Well, Infinity we've heard your side of the argument, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, it's a persuasive one, but let's hear Carl, because he yeah. heard about this in a pub last week, yeah, so he's got problem? some strong What's your problem himself? with it? What's your problem with it? Well, f first of all, right, you're saying it's a load of monkeys. It's not just one monkey that's- It depends. That can live forever. It, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter, with an infinite amount of time, he would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible, okay? Or, it's an infinite amount of, um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already that's, that's sort of, that's not right. You either need to have what one monkey- What do you mean, what, what, you mean, Let, uh, employment laws, point. what he do you mean it's not right? Let's hear him out, please. Okay. If it's one monkey- Yeah. With a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right? At least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't, it's not- Keep going! Crying. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like- it's like if you have too many, what's that saying about too many chefs? Too many spoil chimps spoil the soup. Right. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it. I was gonna put salt in it and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one, they know what's gone on. So what I'm saying uh, is- I, I, I'm just leave him go. I can't be bothered, I Steve. Want to hear, I want uh, to hear it, the th rest. This blows my mind. He doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just, I just don't think it will happen. What I do mean, you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you, by definition. Well, what's stopping them typing the same thing again? They would. They, in fact, the problem should be if you had an infinite amount uh, uh, of time that um, it would type that works with Shakespeare an infinite amount of times and everything else an infinite amount of times. But you know, that's not. That's just. That's that's not as. But not. Not Shakespeare. Oh, shut up, you, you know, idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him. Uh, I just explained it to him, I said, God. you've got an infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters, they will type the complete works of Shakespeare. He yeah. said, have they read Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot! Play a I record, said, no, I'm not having this conversation. Not I'm not having it, I'm not having it, because it really, really winds me up. But you're saying they'll do it with no spelling errors. Well, they do it, a, uh, they do it an infinite amount of times. And they do it, they do it wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it, and they spell, uh, the last full stop. Uh, wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it and they get one thing wrong in Hamlet wrong an infinite amount of times. They do everything an infinite amount of times. But are they going off a story that they've- Play record, Carl, cos <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out! I'm just saying- SHUT UP! Do they know the story? Oh, oh they're, they're monkeys! Oh, Christ. No, right, what? okay. What? Lloyd Cole, she's a girl and I'm a man. Good that, innit? It's on XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. As yeah. ever, Rick, there's always someone who steps in to defend Carl. Uh, uh, well, okay, uh, what is the defence? What is the defence? Here's a, an email from Scott Coomer. He says, Carl is actually right. I've got an A-level in statistics and probability. It doesn't matter how long they have and how many monkeys you have, you cannot guarantee they would type the complete works of Shakespeare. Infinity makes it probable they, they would get it right, but not definite. Well, y yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. No. No, you weren't saying, Carl. You don't understand it. Infinity sort of sorts it out. That if they do- if they do- if they do anything, 
they're- they're nearly do everything, won't they? No, I mean, they'll give it a good shot. <laughs> no, that's not the point. But, but the I'd point is this- I'd be surprised if they did one page right. Right, <laughs> listen, it's not to do with consciousness, it's not to do with them aiming. They are it's, just bashing away it's at like, the it's, it's like they're, they're, they're used to show that there isn't consciousness. They, they, they chose the chimpanzee because it can type, presumably, it's hit because, the keyboard. It's because they hadn't come across you at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's to take out thought out of it. It's to take out reason and trying, right? Mm. It's just random. They're saying that if you typed enough things, if a computer was left like that, typing everything, if you left it for an infinite amount of time, and they chose Shakespeare because there is meaning behind it, and it's difficult to get it exactly right to show you that infinity would come up with a sh it's not just Shakespeare, it's every novel. It's everything. Fairly eloquent there from Gervais. A quick repost, please, from Carl Pilkington. No, I'm just saying what I don't understand. If it hasn't read it, then how does uh, it know where it's going? Oh! I- listen, right, I- okay, listen, right, I- I- can I can't- I, can I just- Can I just explain to people, right? Some people have said, oh, why are you cruel to Carl? He drives me mental with things well. like that. What do you mean, well? well can I just- well, let me just- You, just, you just take a breather. <laughs> how do I do your ending? He keeps coming in the week. You know that I work here properly, <laughs> yeah, in the week, don't I? Yeah, I've got a proper job, yeah? Yeah. Uh, should be nine to five, but I normally get in at about eight o'clock and work A lot of people get in at eight o'clock. Working hard, trying to do my job. Three times this week, I've been rushing around, I walk past my little studio, he's sat in there, all right? <laughs> now, because I've got this sort of job, I can get away with it. I said to him, if I was a doctor, <laughs> Would he keep coming to me practice? If you were a doctor, there'd be <laughs> severe problems with the NHS. Well, oh, imagine so that. Uh, I the standards I, would have lowered so much we to, go to if lunch. you can arrive at the hospital, you're a well, doctor. Well, pop in, I go to lunch, don't we? We have a little lunch break, don't we? Yeah. I go, come on, let's go now. He goes, I'm busy. I go, come on, let's go now. He's going, oh, you're doing me head in. Well, when I was talking about the monkey conundrum with Carl, he said to me, right, if I had a day off work, and I was, say, watching the TV, and with one hand I was typing a uh, typewriter, <laughs> would I type Shakespeare? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, but you see, there's certain things. We were talking a little bit about this stuff the other week, weren't we? When we said uh, <laughs> you were going on about Einstein, and I said he's not that good. Um, you know, he calls MC Square. You know, it sounds good, but I've never used it. And that right? <laughs> I've never yeah. used it. Uh, you haven't used two and two equals four, Carl. The fellow with an apple fell on his head. You know. It could have been anyone sat under that tree. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just annoying. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Yeah. And, uh, and just Newton, to be gets a all, Newton gets all the credit <laughs> no, yeah. for his mean? laws of the universe. <laughs> well, a lot of people were working whilst he was having a lunch break under the tree. Okay. So, in a way, it's like he didn't deserve to have that again, success story. Again, forget the apple and the tree and whether he was sitting down and having a lunch break. It's, it's totally irrelevant. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there's certain things that will just happen. You know, it's like I think we were talking when we were out eating the other week. We were talking about Noel Gallagher. Well, this is reason the, the monkey right. discussion came up, right? We God. were- Noel Gallagher- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Rick, I don't want to misquote Noel. I'd be like Herbert Lom in Clue Song and I'd get a twitch whenever he opens his mouth. I don't know what- I don't know- I don't know where to start with some of his statements. Well, as I say, this all- this discussion began because we were talking about a quote that Noel Gallagher supposedly gave. Now, I don't want to misquote Gallagher, but the gist of it was that he said, um, uh, had I- uh, written Wonderwall or whatever, instead of the Beatles writing Strawberry Fields or whatever, I'd be the one that was considered the great songwriter and it wouldn't be the Beatles, you know, it's just the fact that they came first that meant that they get all the credit as being the greatest band I in the world. I don't know where to start with that statement and, either. I mean, that's Gallagher's thing and, uh, and he's, you know, well, whatever, we know what you think, we think of that. What was your point, Carl? I, you agreed with him, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon, right, do you know how we've talked about putting a baby in a room before and it, and it'll know what colour it is and stuff? If, if you've got a room that's painted red, Right, but uh, forget that, because that's going to confuse him. Hear him out, hear him out. Listen, can I, can I uh, listen him to out. me. Say if they did some new TV show, right, like, um, what's that film with Jim Carrey in where the, uh... The Truman Show. The Truman Show, right? So they make up a little room, and, uh, some woman has some kids, and you say, right, let's put the kids in this room, and they don't know what's going on outside, they, they, they don't know anything about, like, EastEnders and that, it's like their little world, right? They don't know anything that's gone on. How could a child survive without EastEnders? <laughs> right, listen, so, he's sat in the room, right, and then when they're all asleep, right, this, Wait for this bit. Someone pops- have, have you heard this Yeah, bit? wait for this bit. They're all in a room. Yeah. They're asleep. Yeah. Someone pops in, puts a guitar next to the bed, <laughs> right, nips off out again. They wake up in the morning, and, uh, one of them goes, what's this? They don't even know it's a guitar, because they've never seen one, right? They're talking English, though. Yeah. We just left the guitar out of the recovery. Right, so... There's plenty more to come. So, 
One of them will pick it up and they'll go, I don't know what it is, and they'll start strumming and they'll go, that sounds good, doesn't it? Give them a few weeks, they could come up with Hey Jude. Whereas, saying, typing Shakespeare, a monkey that can't even spell... I see that. <laughs> you can't answer it. I might come with you, Ricky, if that's all right. Okay, that's we've got, we've got sort of that Christmas special as well. Yeah, no, sure, sure. Oh, I, I see okay. that. Yeah, well, I'm shooting off in as well. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Cheers. Gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah. And I had uh, scotch pancakes for breakfast, that is all I've had. So I'm starving, I'm shaky. Plus I've got that restless leg syndrome still going on. <laughs> which I can't get rid of. What's restless leg syndrome? <laughs> I find, uh, if I go to bed, right, my body's tired but my legs aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like Michael Flatley? <laughs> you have to get up and do a bit of tap dancing. Do they, do they just keep going even just when keep, you're asleep? Keep moving about, so I have to get up and stretch them or something. Or I've worked out that if if I put a pillar on like the bedpost down at the other end, yeah. if I have my legs higher than my heart, it calms it down a bit. Is this why Suzanne works away so often? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> to get a decent night's sleep. I put it down to Smarties and that. It's like a sugar thing, but yeah. um, stop eating them. Apparently, Bob Morton has got it as well. No, he's got arthritis. Was he? You told yeah. me the week that you've mastered uh, moonwalking. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Is that I'll one of the things you did, like in the middle it, of the it, night? It's, it's, it's <laughs> moon sleepwalking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just did, gets out. He finds himself walking backwards and yeah. wakes up and goes, "Oh God, I'm brilliant! I'm brilliant at this." Right. So, so listen, what we're doing now? Are we doing? Uh, are we getting a debate going about? Right now, yeah. we got people to send in. Uh, a little thing for you last week, didn't you? The film Freaks. A you got freak. a few. You got a few sent in. And you watched it, did you? Yeah. Now I should just point out that the film Freaks, uh, for those that don't know, was a movie that was released, I think, in the well, actually, it was delayed. It was originally made in about 1932, something like that, and then it was banned delayed. It was banned years. for many, for many, many years because it did, in actual fact, uh, feature, for want of a better phrase, real life freaks. Yeah. Um, bearded ladies being one of the more kind of. Familiar Madison's ones. Guy and without there's, arms and there's legs. Guy arms, there's all sorts. And uh, it was actually quite a, it's quite a tender film, isn't it? And actually portrays them as a kind of dysfunctional family. It's not it's not exploitative in that sense. But uh, what do you make of it, Carl? Well, you were watching it for the freaks, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I wish it does take a while to get onto it. What uh, do you mean? Well, straight away I was disappointed, right? Because at the start, like you put it in, it's like, oh, brilliant. Here we go, you know, I said to Suzanne, we'll watch this, we'll have a good night. Yeah. Have a and romantic uh, night. Yeah, that's it, have a birthday. You've got your gloves, now we're gonna watch some freaks. <laughs> so, uh, put it on and it starts off and it's like, you know, the following film, you think, ooh, it's like following films, rated 15, which means, you know, might contain scenes of violence, bad language and sex. Yeah. Mentioned nothing about pinheads. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I thought they missed a trick there. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So, I thought, well, let's, oh. let's, let's go and watch it. Oh, and what that's... exactly is a pinhead? Oh, if you've seen it, you'd know. Okay. Right, so, uh, not the best thing in it either. So, oh. imagine that. <laughs> okay, so you're watching it. So, sat there, I think, right, something comes on, and, and the little fella's on there, the little fella we were talking about, the pillow man. Right. Is it, it the best face. thing in it? Now, what's the pillow man again? He's a fella who, years ago, uh, he, he's got no arms and legs. Right. He's and just he a just, torso. Just rolls, yeah. And uh, there's a scene where you see him sort of rolling a cigarette up, just using his mouth, and yeah. it's like he lights it and stuff. And that's yeah. that's weird. And then uh, what else is on it? It's like it's, growth. And then there's a there's a little little fella on it who is fed up because he looks five, but he's actually thirty four. <laughs> right. Right. But there's a woman <laughs> who is forty two and looked eight. So they both had the opposite thing. They were both really fed up, and I kind of thought that shows that, you know, you always want what someone else has got. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. in a way, there's a story there yeah. in that. No, you, they, you described the same there. No, no, no. No, it was like... No, they both, you, you just said, they, they both looked young, but they are actually both older. No, no, no. This was like a little man... Yeah. Who, who was looked, 35. Who was 35. And looked eight. Yeah. And so did she. No, well, the other way around then. What? So she was an eight-year-old that looked thirty-five. Yeah. So, oh, maybe not then. Anyway, no. But that that wasn't that weird. I kind of thought it's a slow start and that. Yeah. And then uh, it's not it's not a difficult film to follow. No. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't really listening to what it's all about. I was just looking at what they had. And they had like a fella who's running about <laughs> on just. Head like he was shopping. You know, uh, they had a fella with no legs and he's running about on his hands and all sort right. of got about on a skateboard talking to someone about it. 
they said that's how E.T. was done. There's actually a, a little fella in E.T. Right. Who's just half of, um, sort of half a body. Is that true? I've no idea. I've never heard that Why before. Why haven't we heard that before? I've never heard that before. I don't think he would fit in E.T. Cause he's I got no- cause like, where's the head? He's got no neck, E.T. It's a skinny little thing. There's no- a human neck couldn't fit in that skinny little neck. Wow. Well, you sure, you sure it wasn't Kenny Baker up to his old tricks? What no. are you talking about, Carl? There's a fella with no legs in E.T. In E.T. they had two- two fellas, right? I think they had a little, um, a midget fella. Right. Who <laughs> did it. And then I think he was off sick and they were like, oh, you know, what else were we gonna <laughs> do? You might, d d so, <laughs> so they saw a guy s on a skateboard <laughs> going by. And said, do you fancy some work? <laughs> right. And that he's done it. I think someone told me, I mean, it might be yeah, wrong. Exactly. Yeah, might be wrong. It might be, mightn't it? <laughs> I mean, you've never been wrong before, so I don't know why you'd be wrong there. <laughs> what so what's the worst been? thing in it? Now, it's intriguing to me because here's a film called Freaks, featuring real life freaks, and you're sort of a bit nonplussed by it. Just because it wasn't, because it's built up. If you call a video freaks, you've got to make sure that there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. What were you disappointed about? Was it that? Because there was a few things on it, right? There was a woman who said she was half man, half woman, and it's like, well, you know, are you? It was just like she had some makeup on. I thought, well, that's rubbish. And then there was a woman who could eat using her feet. That isn't that freaky. Do you know what I mean? If she's not hungry, she looks normal. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being, not being, right, Steve, you know I'm not being funny. Oh, here we go. No, 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 but I'm, I'm just saying, if that woman wasn't eating and you were sat next to her in that film, yeah. I'd probably be sort of drawn to you more than her. I'm not, I, I know you hate me saying it, but there's no point sort of pretending. Do you know what I mean? Oi, Muttley, what you get, what are you sniggering about? <laughs> that, that, that face. <laughs> what you, you mean there were, there were things in it that were less, what are you saying? I'm just saying. Play a record. No, Seriously, I'll slap you, I'm gonna slap you live on air. Yeah, but you always get- I'm gonna, right, I'm slapping you live oh, on air, I swear to God. Right, play a song then. It's playing a song. song. I'll play the song. Hang on, you better do the jingle, ain't you? Oh. Oh, chimpanzee that! Oh, right, you'll like this one. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out like a lot of monkeys' names, like that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I've found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And- So it- they're, they're, they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But this one, right? And um, it's called crap. Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Um, is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> Yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some, uh, um, bongo and that's all. Uh... <laughs> But no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> what are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I don't, you don't what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> This is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Um, I, 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 what? There's got to be a third Why act is that to that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, do you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I don't know. Didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. 
<laughs> but, but he didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied at having read that? Did you not have other I questions? mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what, I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know, I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Is that all you found? You found a, something about a, no, a I'll monkey? I'll tell you, right, when I was searching for stuff on monkeys, right? Yeah. I was searching around, like I always do, looking, finding information, right? Yeah. And, um, found out, uh, are you aware of the Iceman? The Iceman? Yeah. Go on. Right. And to me, the monkey thing was more... What's the Iceman? Oh, uh, the man that was found in the ice. So you're aware a of him? A Neanderthal man. Right, yes. Yeah. Ricky, do you know Not a monkey, the man. No, no, I know, but I just was looking at, like, info. Right. The 5,000-year-old fella who was preserved in a, in a glacier. That one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you find that more fascinating than the monkey? Well, I, I know that it's true. Yeah, it's true, but do you find it more fascinating? Well, simply <laughs> because it's true, I find it more fascinating. I can't act on some... Uh, uh, if someone... Uh, anything that's true is more fascinating. But, you see, what I get from the monkey thing, yeah. you go, oh, I wonder, wonder if it was happy about that, and... <laughs> but you accept it straight away. You accept that that is true and interesting, and I don't know what that is. I mean, to me, it sounds like a bit of cruelty towards animals. No, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, uh, uh, I mean, if that's true, it's disgusting to tattoo uh, a monkey's head. It's disgusting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do. A, if a monkey, if they, if they reported that a monkey um, went in and got a tattoo, <laughs> and chose it itself, and then was riding a Harley Davidson down <laughs> Camden, I go, that is incredible. But I'd really want to see it on the news, and it mustn't be anywhere near the first of April. You know what I mean? I think you've just blown next week's. <laughs> <laughs> Just sometimes people have to die, don't they? There was a fella outside our house who had a lamppost. He had a helmet on, but his head come off. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh at a man's head coming off because of the way you said it. <laughs> but, but that's the thing. <laughs> he had a... He, he had a... Oh, God! There's a man died in the house. He had a lamppost, <laughs> he had a helmet on, but his head come off. So you're saying that be because in that one instance, the helmet did not save his life? His head was in great condition. It's just not attached to his body. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying to you. Sometimes people have to die. How far, how far do you take all this stuff of, of, you know, safety gear and slowing down and wear bright clothes at night? And It's just too much. Very important point, you see. We give people crash helmets. We give them... Should be better, maybe. Hey, Chinese kid. Right, well, yeah. we've talked about airy people in the past. <laughs> 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 True enough. Aren't we? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the little kids who grew up in woods and hung around with wolves and that. Yeah, again, you're confusing it. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not... There were some people that were born a very hirsute. They were not the yeah. people who were brought up with wolves. Yeah. You just put that together in your <laughs> Homer Simpson-type mind. Right, well, this is like a sort of... Sort of close to that sort of story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the weird thing is, right, Chinese people aren't that hairy as a as a nation. <laughs> no, seriously, that's that's a well known fact. Oh you, they don't they don't have that much body hair and right. stuff. Okay. So this little kid who was born over there, um, he was like covered in stuff. Was he? And it was only his nose that wasn't hairy, the rest of his body was caked in hair, right? Mm. Um, and his hair sort of What grew. sort of hair was it? Was thick, it- Thick, thick hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, was it sort of, uh, uh, like a pony's mane, so he just looked like an Ewok? You know what I mean? Just like hanging down sort of straight, dark well, it hair. Looked, in the picture it looked like, uh, it grows from it his eyebrow, it grows from his eyebrows quite thick. And then it just goes all the way over you his You don't hair. think it was just really long eyebrows that he'd done a comb over? <laughs> No, th it was all over his body. It had a picture of like his back and that. Yeah. And um, had he styled it? Had he styled it at all? Did he, did he have it a quiff or? No, it was just it was just, just all around. over him. Yeah. And yeah. um, and they were like, you know, this is a bit weird, happening uh, happening in China, mm. where, where we're not normally that airy. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was the scientist speaking <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the press, the local press and that were getting him down calling him monkey boy and all this. Oh. And, uh. Um, Thinking Chinese press. But the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They're cruel, aren't they? The it's doctor. Like those game shows. <laughs> well, That's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. That's what that, yeah. And the doctor said, um. I was st Carl talking through all that time where we were just like talking <laughs> to each other then. Cos I turned round and I still saw he was talking. <laughs> Go so on. anyway, the local press came in to see the hairy boy, the monkey yeah, boy. Yeah, they were like being tight, taking the mickey out of him and the doctor said, uh. Throwing him nuts. Said he's only, he's only hairy. Said, um, he's a healthy young kid. The only faults he's got is he's got a little bit of eczema and a boil. <laughs> <laughs> and he said everybody should just treat him the same and uh, I think he grew up a healthy, healthy kid. Um. Yeah, so that's, that's the, uh... That's- that's the end of the story. That's not it? a story. Why? Well, but, but I've got nothing- I don't know what to say to that. So someone was- someone in China was born slightly hairier than the rest, <laughs> and he was normal apart from eczema and a boil. That to me isn't a story. <laughs> but that, I, that I, if it is, I've got a million. I mean, it, it's sort of like, bloke from Manchester, went a bit bolder than the rest, got a job on radio. He was normal. I mean, that's not a story, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right, then. Um, the cement mixers, that's what <laughs> they did. That was how they it, did it. Definitely, right? yeah. Just, just, uh, animal facts. I remembered one in the week. Um, Go on. It <laughs> was, do you know them two gay American men who have, have tigers? Okay, the two gay ones, Those yeah, gone. Two possibly gay guys. Yeah, let, let's not worry about libel law um, anymore, then, or, yeah, If you on. shave a tiger's head... <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Right, okay. You've got to treat that sentence with a lot more reverence than you did. <laughs> Think what you're saying. If you shave a tiger's head, not just its head, its whole body. If oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So I thought you, I thought you were getting weird. Go on. Then, yeah, if you shave a tiger, yeah, go on. It's still stripy underneath. The yeah. Skin, the skin's. Is stripy. it like rock? <laughs> it goes all, it the, like way all the way through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's amazing. Where did you hear that one? That's. I remembered that. Like, I was. Was that a drunk just shouting it in the street? <laughs> 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 I shaved a tiger and it's still stripy. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What other complaints? What you know, the was? most, oh, you know, the biggest complaint ever on TV, the most complaints ever for anything on TV, was the showing of The Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Do you know the second, yeah, the se second was, was, I think, Anne Robinson, um, put in the Welsh into Room 101. What, cos she didn't like them and that? Yeah, she just said, well, they you know, they're going in the, you know. Can I, can she said it slightly more eloquently than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can under- the people or the place? I don't know. I think, I think it, was, it was the place and therefore the people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? No, well, you know me mum and dad have sort of, uh, moved from Manchester, they reside now in Wales. Oh, right? yeah. And it is, uh... <coughs> Look at his face! Turning his nose up! No, but it, it is pretty depressing. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them places that... Uh, it's like you go back in time and that when you go there. I mean, maybe the major city's there, maybe Cardiff is alright. What, even coming from Manchester it's like going back in time? It's just, uh, it's like one of them places that w it feels like every day is Sunday. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just depressing and grey and slate Lots everywhere. Lots of vicars walking around going on late. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's the sort of attitude they have, right? This, and this is true, because my mum and dad live there and that, right? And they love it, it's alright, it's an healthy place to go when you get older and that. But, this, this is why they don't move on in Wales. Well, because it's like to make another. No, no, sorry no. to any Welsh people listening. We're not saying you don't move on. Carl is. No, but sorry about the little Chinese shoes. Again the thing as well. is, it's good that in a way that they do do that, and they don't want to be like you know rushing about everywhere. Because the way London is isn't that great either, is it? Because sure. it's totally opposite here, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not having a go. It is a bit dull. I think even people who live there will agree with me. Okay. Right. But like one of the shops that my mum and dad use, right? It's only a little sort of villagey type shop. Uh. They can't be bothered staying open for hours and hours, right? Because there's not enough people use the shop. Yeah. So what you do is, uh, they get used to what you buy. And they leave they, it out. They put it in a phone box outside. They put it in a phone box? Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. So my dad's loving that. Well, Once yeah. he found that out, it was like, brilliant. But that, how is that a bad thing? That's brilliant. Well, it's not for other people. It is for my dad, because he's picking up all sorts of stuff. Oh, chickens. no, he's not! Oh, yeah. He's not nicking other people's shopping. Well, it's not like nicking, is it? Because it's not theirs yet. <laughs> oh! And you've stitched him up on radio. Well, of course, because yeah. they're going to think, who's that? Wh who is there in town with a mank accent? Who, who, keeps, ma who yeah. keeps making phone calls? <laughs> and is getting fatter? Yeah. 
That's the- You've stitched in I your love that. I love that, that your dad was excited when he found out- Oh. I can't believe, I can't believe that he's moved there, he's retired to this little village was... where it's based on trust and community and he's abusing it, he's using his scally mank ways. Bloody hell, Lakers, there's no bread again. <laughs> there's old women was going empty? hungry, yeah. their cats aren't getting fed, and your father is just, I can't, oh, that's obscene. That's obscene. Oh, I think it's a die thief. That oh. fella from <laughs> Manchester. I don't even think they've got Sky there yet, have they? They can't listen, they won't, they won't know what's... I think you've stitched him right up. I hope you have, actually, I hope he goes down for it. I hope he's hounded out of the community like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They should get burning torches, go up to the set mansion- fire to his, Set fire to his cottage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right, well, He's uh, out of the choir. <laughs> yeah. Just tally him yeah, up for a bit and went back out. Did I tell you about my go-kart? Yeah, like you- Yeah. About you- Dad giving it away. Yeah. What's the story? I, 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 I think I've told you something. Have you gone? What? Tell it again. Well, I, 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 I told it on air. I can't remember. Maybe I just told you. Um, when I was about eight or nine, I had a go kart and I loved it. It's one of those things you press back and forth. Yes. And I used to come in every day. Used to just get changed, and run out, and it was um, behind the shed, and I used to just go up and down the garden. And one day I came running in, and I ran out, and I couldn't see it. And I went to the back door. My mum was washing up, and I went. Where's my go-kart? She went, your dad swapped it. Your dad swapped it? Yeah. With his, it was, it was his mate, Jimmy, in the pub. He went, it's just, I said, what, ah. Oh. She went, yeah, he swapped it for a wheelbarrow. So I went and looked back and there was this wheelbarrow, right, <laughs> that was obviously just came off a building site. Yeah. Covered in concrete. Of I couldn't, it was steel, right, ch I could hardly move it. Yeah. And I went back and I went, really? She went, yeah, it's your wheelbarrow. <laughs> See, I'm thinking so that my dad, my dad lost a wheelbarrow that day. <laughs> yeah, and I used to, I used to push that up and down. It wasn't the same. And you used to push the wheelbarrow up yeah, and down. Anything I mean, in there or? No, I just like to try. Show. I was just trying to sort of keep myself amused. Yeah. But anyway, that summer I went on holiday and uh, I went to Bargainer with my mum and my nan. Um, <laughs> Another wild holiday. Yeah, yeah. And I was sort of out, out by my caravan, and I, I made friends uh, with this this kid, and he'd hired a go kart from the. The caravan, is that right? And I remember him going around there, and uh, I was, it, was, it was great. And I said, <laughs> and I said, I've got a go kart. <laughs> and the caravan window opened, and my mum said, "Don't lie." <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Be truthful. <laughs> I went. I had a go kart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. What Did you ever really forgive him for that? I'd never forgive him, my dad, if he'd swapped a go kart for a wheelbarrow. I just thought that's par for the course. Isn't yeah. It? You know what I mean? You yeah. They're in charge. Sure. Did you used to rush home, change, and <laughs> <into> <laughs> back, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, into that sort of gardener's gear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight into your hard hat and dungarees. <laughs> I could, Mum. Any bricks need moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh right. dear. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. that was your happiest day. Yeah. Beautiful cars. So that's, that's the one that sprung to mind. Yeah. Yeah, and my, un my unhappiest. You see how, how go-karts can be good or bad? <laughs> Does that make you think, Carl, that yeah. the go-kart is, you know, is good and evil? <laughs> yeah. Play a record. Oh, I'm upset. Ads. Yeah, and when we do, it's ruined by impressing the wrong button. Yeah. yeah but I've got some planning here. Go on, right. then. Uh, Courses. What, I did, you... what I did was, when I was on holiday, yeah. right, I, I, you, you said, you know, come up with a new idea, right? Mm. So the best way of coming up with ideas is sort of, um... <laughs> Thinking. Sort of nicking a, a TV show name and then twisting it a bit. Yeah. So... Or just rip off Simon, Ma Simon Mayo's idea completely. That's right. good advice for anyone out there. I didn't Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're interested in, in ideas. See, uh, Carl is presently, uh, um, running a course, writing for TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that, that's the lesson one, isn't it? Just that's rip one. something else <laughs> off. Just, just do it. And change the title slightly. Yeah, well, go this, on. This one, I haven't really got a... I don't know what to do on the game, but I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> st strike it, Ricky. <laughs> I, I that's all you've got. That's uh, that's what you've come up I with. How long did that, that take? What is that? I just thought it sounded a bit like lucky. <laughs> forget that one then. <laughs> yeah, forget that one. Okay, yeah. Well, no, right. no, no, good. No, no. We all have we all have hits of this. Even Spielberg's. Not all his films, you know, can hit the. Uh, go on. Right. No, okay. No, it's a good. It's a, go on. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Big Brother? Yeah. Do I remember my brother? No, go on. <laughs> Big mother, right? You call in. <laughs> if your mum's ever, you win a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How can you, how can you prove that? Alright, forget that. <laughs> 
Right, ER. Here's one. <laughs> uh, ER? Good one, no, ER. No, no, no. Yeah. No. The price is right, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Right. The price is Ricky? No. The rice is right. <laughs> and what I do, I read from an Indian menu and a Chinese menu, you tell me whether you have pilau or egg fried. Genius, isn't he? He really is. Oh, a modern. Let's go into no, that. Let's go into this one. Let, let's not cross this off right away. Go on. Then. What do you, you read from what? Well, I've got. I, I get a couple of menus from like an Indian or a, and a Chinese takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll go like uh, right. Um, oh, chicken korma. Well, could I just suggest that as it's an Indian, it will be pilau, and anything you read out that is. Yeah, but you don't know which one I'm reading from. What the chicken korma is Indian, isn't it? Yeah, so you go pilau. <laughs> but then, but then. Well, you, you might as well say Indian or Chinese. <laughs> no, because then the, the name wouldn't work. The rice is right. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot you were working for the title backwards, aren't you? Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know where I am or what, what day it is. I, I, pro I program that they've been in on Channel 4, right? Can you cross that out? Is, we're not doing the rice is right either. I don't understand no. the rice is right. No, go I'll on. I'll tell you that later. We'll have a game in the office, right? <laughs> um, a, a game that they've been in on Channel 4, but has got really big viewing figures. Well, obviously not. Right. Or they wouldn't be binning it. Go on. Do you know 15 to 1? Yeah. They're getting rid of that, right? Are they? I'm thinking 15 Taiwan. <laughs> get some items that are made in Taiwan, right? Get 15 items and y and I say what they are and then you go, oh, I bet it's the vase or something. That's the one that's made in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that again very quickly. <laughs> no, don't go. Oh, right, cross it out. out. Forget that. Cross it out. <laughs> 15 Taiwan. <laughs> right. Go on. This is the one that I've prepared for because I think this is, this, this is isn't daft, this is good. Let's go play on. a tune and let's hear it after that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm very sure? excited. <laughs> are we gonna play it after that or are we gonna say no, it? No, you can explain no, it after that. I'm right. very excited. <laughs> Good to hear that again, isn't it, Steve? Oh, fantastic. Waiting on a Friend by the Rolling Stones. Yeah? Go on then, Carl. On XFM 104.9, <laughs> Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Wilson. Go on. Right, this one. Um, remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good and we'll do this one. Uh, rock busters. And remember how Bob Olness used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yes. Right, well it works like that. So if I said to you, um, yeah, we'll test it out on you, Steve, right? Um, right, welcome to the show on that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play, right? Okay. And I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, cos it's done like crosswords, Okay. Um, so not quite like blockbusters. Well, um, this young man prepared for his death, right. and it's a W. So the answer, and it's not always going to be like our sort of music; it can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name, or is it? Is yeah. it, it it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And it, and so would the W be the surname, or would you have both the initials if it was? someone's name. Would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't no. get annoyed, Carl. No. These are, these, <laughs> these are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. <laughs> I know this, he tested it on me. So you've got to tell him. Well, no, the point. The rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, 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 give him the answer. Give him the right, answer. did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue, it's and the w. clue's fine. Listen, and the on. clue is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W. And it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't- Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, but they didn't do that on Blockbusters, it just had one letter. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They, they did. did if it was a, uh, if- The gold one they often had a f three or four. Did they? Letters, yeah. Well, it was normally <laughs> just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W- W, uh, Y. W, Y. Will Young. Excellent. Right, I didn't so understand it. What was the young will man, prepared young for? This young man. So he sort of yeah. mixed, mixed sort of cryptic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, is, is, yeah, that's a good effort. That's cryptic, better than yeah. usual. No, it's that is better than it's usual. Not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play, let's play Rockbusters. Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. How many of these have you got? No, because no, just, 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 wait, 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 wait. let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we thought everything through, because I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first, <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ornish just didn't turn up the first day, and he goes, up, we're all winging it, it'll be fine. Bring the students in, let's have a go. I'm sure they did uh, a bit of preparation. So let's just check, uh, we've got everything, every base covered. Yeah, I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got I'll to get right? I'll tell you what, let's do this off air then. Should we play a great, a great tune? 
Well, yeah. Well, people need to call in, don't they? Because we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. It'll be all right. And there's there's good stuff. I've got a, a CDs, right? I've got um, some compilation stuff and a couple of videos and that. So that's what they're playing for. Uh huh. Um, call up now. Oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. Get them on the air. Play the game. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Is that oh, what we're doing? Bit of the kill. Oh, that's from that uh, Cure Greatest Hits uh, I'm gonna compilation. Have a heart attack. I you really get uh, am. an extra it's bonus CD on certain copies, and that's uh, an acoustic version of Just Like Heaven. Fantastic. He hasn't thought it through. I know. We've just right, spent we've three of three and a half minutes trying to figure out the rules. Yeah, of this game. right. Uh, we've got it now. I'm sorry for people to call in. The, the lines are going mental. Right. So hold on, everybody. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ad break. We're just we're gonna, gonna figure out how to play the game. Exactly. We're gonna get two people on there, and we're gonna play it. So uh, XFM and that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <For my> birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Johnson, I'm really excited about the job. Can I call you back? I'm just going to negotiate with a whore. <laughs> and it was just, it was like, it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally, she, the normal etiquette of prostitution, you know, that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this in they films. Will, will yeah, they exactly. Will, yeah, 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 yeah. Take you out for a meal, that I sort know, of thing. That had sort of gone out of the window and yeah, she was just sure. there, desperate, running around Did the Did she streets. go out of a window? Like because that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been, uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London. I was <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I, I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to <laughs> sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. And I'm not being mean. No, 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 no. no. Mean, sorry, so. I, I'll let you go back to it. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that no, Steve- Steve, Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. <laughs> I don't think- well- <laughs> No, he does. Do you know, do you know yeah, before- no, no, but it's not whether what he thinks of his looks, no, no. it's what he thinks of you talking about his looks on- No, but it's- go it's on. like how you were talking before about, you know, your eyes are bad. It's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here. Right? <laughs> don't get that! I don't know what you mean! What when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks, let's make his eyes bad. Right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, see, balancing I... it out. Right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic. Sorry, right? sorry, right? Johnny Depp. Now oh, listen, <laughs> but- I'm gonna- my- my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go into this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> I- I'm gonna b- <laughs> yes. you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? I you look like, like- you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, <laughs> right, just a little balloon like a party balloon, <laughs> if you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, <laughs> that's what you look like. <laughs> right, I so, No, listen, got, play a record, no, I don't listen, want to get into this, listen, it's too now, intense. Now, now you've- you've got onto this, let's just nip it in the bud now. I'll tell you something that I wasn't gonna tell you because I think- I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. Right, it was on the tube. Right. Well, I was. Someone told me they were on the tube, mm. right? And um, it uh, the, the tube pulled into a station, <laughs> right? And one of the women saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with you and Rick on it, right? Yeah. So this this woman apparently goes, uh, "Oh, look, there's uh, it's Ricky. Ricky's on the radio, right?" And uh, the other woman goes, "Oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it?" So she goes, "Oh, I didn't. I didn't know he was on the radio." And she goes, "Oh." <laughs> Look, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't look at this bad one. <laughs> she said, oh, look at that. 